How do you organize the drafts of the thing that you're writing? How does it look, by the way? I think it's quite a red. Okay, where were we? So how do you keep track of different things that you're writing, right? Whether this is a blog post, a newsletter, something that you want to share out with the world, right? A piece of writing. How do you keep track of the different drafts? You know, like different versions of it. I know that in the past I've done like the craziest workarounds. I mean, I remember when I wrote, I think it was something for school, like, um, you know, a thesis, like something massive. And I just had like Word documents and I just duplicated those Word documents like 16 times. And that, <laughs> that I called my backup as well as my draft backup version history. Like it was a mess. And even now with modern apps, I often end up like duplicating files copying tags, uh, just having different toggles or headings where I just copy the same thing over and over just to have backups of the thing that I'm writing. Let's say, for instance, that you're writing a tweet and you say, mm, no, I actually need to modify it a bit more. It's not it's not quite there yet. So you need to do a, another version. And then you say, oh, yeah, I don't like it. And then you do like 10 versions and then you realize, OK, uh, no, I don't like that. Let's go back to version two It's like worse version two. I don't have that anymore. Either way, that's a problem that I've been trying to solve. And usually the solutions out there are very nerdy, very complicated to set up, which is why I finally created my first Obsidian plugin. That's what I want to show you right now in this video. So we're just going to start. I'm just going to write a bunch of text, just paragraphs, and you're going to see how we're going to be able to have different versions of it. You'll see. I won't spoil it. Let's just jump straight into it. So let's go to my computer. OK, that didn't work. Let's go. All right, we just finished writing something. Let's pretend AI had nothing to do with it. And this could be a social media post, a newsletter, a blog post, a script for a video, anything you want. The beauty of the system that I created is that now you can save this version. Just with a shortcut, I opened that up and I can name it something like not bad, still needs improvement. Now here's where we're gonna start doing a bunch of modifications. We're gonna change certain sentences, remove some others that we might not need, remove whole paragraphs and modify some others. There you go. Now this new version, we're going to name it something like remove some stuff and we wrote some things. OK, we have two versions. This is where the magic really kicks in. With the shortcut, I can open this thing and see a before and after of my different versions. This one is remove some stuff and we wrote some things. In the before, we had the word idea that changed to concept. We have this other word, it changed. We have this thing. We wrote something about caveman. Who knows what's happening there? Here we have a sentence that we get rid of, a whole paragraph we get rid of. One we got rid of and we wrote a new one and some other things that weren't modified. This is amazing because now you can start deleting things like crazy and always knowing that you have a backup. You can always bring them back later, which is what I'm going to show you in just a second. But you see, you can just be very destructive and just rewrite things, delete things, no worries. And you can save this version. Right now, we're not even going to name it. That's fine. And now if we open this again, we can see, oh, yeah, take a look. In the before there was a sentence, that is gone. Another sentence, that is gone. Another sentence, that is gone. You get the idea. We can even do things such as moving paragraphs. We can just cut this text, paste it somewhere else, let's say in here. And we're going to say, move the paragraph further down. We can see that and see that this is now painted yellow because it's been moved somewhere else in the same file. Move the paragraph further down. Amazing. So now the mind blowing thing is that you can travel back in time. Take a look. You can see the different versions that you have in here. And you can go back to exactly the one that you have. Let's say this paragraph. You weren't sure of it, but thankfully you have a backup. And now you say, you know what? This is actually the perfect paragraph I need. Usually you'd be lost. You'd be like, oh, I lost it. There's nothing. I can't restore that. But in here, you can go back to the exact version that you want. And you can copy the text and bring it back home right here. Let's say that you want to add it right there. There you go. And we're going to name this restore the paragraph I previously removed. There you have it. And now you can see that that has been restored successfully. You can always bring back things such as, let's say, this sentence. This would have been nice to have, so let's bring it back. And now we're going to put it right there. Use our shortcut and call it restore the sentence, save. And we can open this back and see, there it is. There's our sentence that we need. The beauty of this whole process is that you can just write with total freedom, knowing that if you ever need to restore something, you can always go back in time and bring it back. That way you don't need to do like 
duplicates of files or having to copy text at the bottom of the page and just do all sorts of crazy workarounds to be able to have different versions of what you want to write because we all know that good content, good writing happens in the editing. You need to modify things, you need to improve things and this is the best way that I found to be able to keep track of different versions, different drafts of what you write and I hope that you love it as much as I do. So that is the idea of this plugin that I've created. I'm calling it Backtrack because you can always backtrack in history, travel back in time to different versions of what you wrote. This is specifically useful. I find it very useful for things such as tweets or different social media posts that especially a tweet is kind of like you come up with an idea and then you need to refine it you need to rewrite it like 20 times before you have something good i don't know if you relate to that like that's something that always happens to me and being able to use this is just such a time-saving method because I, I always used to do the craziest things just like having a bunch of copy text or just having crazy toggles and just duplicating files i don't know about you but like i've always relied on crazy workarounds and this is the first time that i have something extremely robust that works well for me now i know that a lot of you will be like okay cool uh, nice plugin that's cool but where do i access it and i'm like okay i got news and bad news it's not in the community plugins yet if a lot of you are interested in it i do think i might make it for free i mean i really hope so do let me know in the comments for sure like i'm very sensitive to peer pressure so definitely pressure me in the comments with that <laughs> but the good news is that if you are someone who really see the value in something like this and you want to have access to it as soon as possible this plugin comes together with a new course that i'm putting out which is called obsidian for content creators so especially if you're someone who creates content or even if you want to start this course is me curating the absolute best workflows of the things that you can do in obsidian to optimize everything related to creating content and organizing all of that in obsidian in the most efficient way possible so in the course of course you'll have access to this plugin that I showed in this video but on top of that I'll show you some really cool workflows for keeping track of different pieces of content and their different status so that you can keep all of that organized usually that can quickly become a mess if you organize it in all sorts of different apps you can do it all inside of Obsidian keep track of your different versions and drafts like I showed you in this video and on top of that being able to have very reliable backups a lot of the things that I really showed you in this video with this plugin as well as the backups that I that I teach you how to do those are things that are usually only accessible for programmers they're quite nerdy quite tricky to set up but i finally figured out ways to teach someone who doesn't have even experience with obsidian if you're if you don't even know what obsidian is like this course is still for you obviously if you know a little you're probably here because you already know a little bit of obsidian but this course is going to be incredible especially if you're a content creator if you are not interested in content creation at all this is not the course for you but if you are it's going to be incredible a bunch of really cool tips to finally help you organize all that clutter all of the crazy mayhem that happens from creating content you can use obsidian to keep yourself organized so if you're interested in that do check out the description if you're watching this at the time of me releasing this video there's going to be a really special offer like very like yeah it's great okay just go check it out <laughs> Now, if you're watching this in a week or two or in sometime in the future, like still obviously check it out. There's going to be more updated information there of everything related to the course. So okay, at this point, I'm just rambling. So either way, go check it out. Hope you have a nice day and we'll talk soon. Bye, 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 bye. See you, see you, see you, see you, see you, bye, 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 see you, see you. I couldn't get out of frame. <laughs>